So now we just have three examples for adding and subtracting real numbers. So, so a couple of things to keep in mind. Subtracting means the same thing as adding the opposite. And remember, opposite in math means change the sign. Um, if you have two numbers and they have the same sign, what you do is you add their absolute values, and then you give the answer the sign that the two original numbers had. If you start with two numbers that have different signs, what you do is take the absolute value, subtract smallest from largest, and then your answer gets the sign of the, quote, larger number. Okay, it's the one that gets to win. So if we look here, I have 5 plus negative 8. Notice the negative 8's in parentheses because I don't want the plus and minus right next to each other. So think of this, right, you have $5, but you owe negative $8. Think about where you're going to end up. Okay, so you know the answer now in your head. Let's figure out how we're going to do this using this third rule. I am adding two numbers. They have different signs, one's positive, one's negative. So what I do is I take the absolute value, make them all positive, and subtract smallest from the largest. So 8 minus 5 is 3. But now since the 8 that I started with is negative, that dictates the sign of my answer, which makes sense, right? If you have $5, but you owe $8, you are $3 in the hole, minus 3. This next example, I have negative 12 plus negative 6. Again, the parentheses to hold that negative 6 in. Uh, the first one doesn't need them because there's nobody in front of it or nobody up here in an exponent position attached, so the negative 12 can just hang out there. So I'm adding two numbers, adding, that have the same sign. Same sign, take the absolute value, so that's going to be 12 and 6. Add the numbers, so 12 plus 6 is 18, and then give your answer the sign that the two originals had. So remember, they started with the same sign. These guys were both negative, so that means my answer is negative. I'll go ahead and circle those so you know which, where the answer is. This last one, I actually have a subtraction sign. I have 15 minus 25, but subtracting is the same thing as adding the opposite. So these two rules here are when we have adding in the middle. So I need to change this third problem to have an adding in the middle. So the 15 stays the same, but now instead of subtracting 25, I'm going to add the opposite of 25. I'm going to add a negative 25. So now I'm adding two numbers, different sign. So what I do is I take the absolute value, make them both positive, subtract smallest from largest. 25 minus 15 is 10. And then I'm going to give my answer the sign that the larger number had. So 25 is bigger than 15, 25 is negative, so my answer is negative 10.